Okay, I think we're back. I'm not sure what happened there. I think we got frozen. Bear with me as I put the camera back on the mount. That was really weird. I hope you guys can see me. Let me just get the iPad going because I have the camera mount pretty high because I'm using one of our, um, the Verity uh, rather large board. So um, I have the mount pretty high up. I can't even, I'm so short, I can't even see the top of it <laughs> to see if this was working. Uh, let's see. So make sure I'm still here. Let me see. Sorry, I'm just waiting for the camera. Uh, for the iPad to kick in. Let's see if we're on. What the heck is going on? a circle of death on the iPad but it looks like I'm still alive so I'm not sure what is going on let me just let me just come out of here on the iPad real quick and try to come back in again because maybe maybe I'm just having an issue on here maybe I am still alive I don't know if anybody's on let me try again Okay. Oh, I'm there. I'm there. Yay. Okay. I can see it's working. We're good. Okay. So we are going to do a project using the anchor and shell transfer. And I think now I'm on a, okay. Caught up on my iPad now. Um, this amazing transfer has a large anchor and then a couple smaller anchors and some really cute shells on here. And I've never used this transfer before. Um, as you can see, it's got some dotted lines here. And we know that we can cut right across the um, dotted lines, which is great for someone like me who cannot cut straight to save their life. So this is, comes in good handy. So I know right where I need to cut when I'm cutting out the pieces of my transfer. And so I kind of had an idea for tonight's project to, hi Eileen, I'm gonna do, I turn my, my variety board sideways and I think I'm gonna do two anchors like Sue. And I think if I measure correctly, I should be able to get both of them on here if I tilt it like that. And then I'm going to put some words in here that I'm going to, I think will work. And then if I have space, I'm going to cut out some of the little shells and put them in there as well. We're going to, we're going to see how that goes. But I'm going to use um, some of the words from the We Belong Together transfer set. But let me just mark the back of this transfer like we always do. We always label the back of our transfers. I'm just gonna write back on here. Sorry, I hope my head is not getting in the way of the camera. I do have it very, very high up. This is a big board, it's a nice board. Let me let that dry for a second. And we are going to remove because this is a larger transfer, we're going to remove the carrier sheet from the transfer like so. Okay, we'll put that off to the side and we labeled it back so that when we return the transfer to the carrier sheet, we know which is the back, the paper side and which is the sticky side. I'm sorry, not the sticky, huh? the shiny side. This is sticky, the shiny side, because we want to put this, the sticky side, onto the shiny side. That way, we can use our transfer multiple times. Usually between eight and 10 times is how many times we get out of each transfer, so long as we are taking good care of them, cleaning them. Hi from City Field. Baseball's not my thing. Oh, awesome. You're like watching a baseball game and watching me live. How awesome is that, Eileen? That's fun. Or maybe not fun. I don't know. You're not into baseball, huh? <laughs> That's awesome. 
Is it a beautiful night out there? Because here in Jersey, it is absolutely gorgeous here today. So gorgeous. I am actually, if that noise you're hearing, that is me buzzing up my transfer on my pants. Um, just want to make sure that I'm getting some of the lint off of the off of my pants so that my transfer is not going to stick real hard to the surface of my chalkboard because we do not want that to happen because then we have a hard time getting our transfer off of our board and um, yeah we definitely do not want that to happen so I'm gonna get this as close as I can to the side here kind of tilt it on its side and hopefully I just want to kind of eyeball this real quick I do because I don't know I never measure anything I'm so bad with that and I may I may have to slightly go off the board here I'm just gonna kind of eyeball this so let me get a stick so I'm thinking this is how bad I am all right so this is kind of where this is gonna end right here If I do this, let's not get our transfer to stick to itself. That would be really great. So if we tilt it this way, I think I'm, it's gonna be a little tight. I think I may actually, just to be safe, have this go slightly off of the board. And I'm okay with that. I don't mind if the, if the little piece goes off. I'd rather kind of have it be slightly off and even on both sides. If that makes sense. Okay, let's see. All right. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I think I'm gonna go for it this way so it's, it's kind of slightly off the board like that that's perfect and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one anchor in gray and one in Nantucket because that kind of screams beachy to me a little bit so I'm laying my transfer down making sure that I'm not feeling any bubbles in the silk screen area it's okay if I have a bubble here that's not the silk screen area so we're good just gonna make sure that this is kind of up as close as I can get it. And like I said, it's okay if it goes off the board. I'm not concerned about that. I, I think it looks kind of cool when that happens. So I'm just making sure that my tramp, uh, my chalk paste has the consistency of yogurt. This is a little dry to me, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add just a little bit of water to this. Getting to the, the bottom of my awesome elephant gray here. Should have plenty to get the anchor in gray on this side, and then the other side I'll do in the Nantucket. So let me grab a squeegee here, and we are just going to go for it. Just making sure one more time. Up, oh, and of course I stirred right over. Oh, it should be okay. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and apply some of the chalk paste right on here. And remember, if you put a lot on, it's okay. You're just gonna pull that chalk paste right down. See how nicely that just pulled right down, right over our transfer. Just applying a little bit of pressure. Just covering the silk screen area. We don't need to worry about all of that teal area there. I'm working kind of quick because the chalk paste does go on wet, dries hard, and it does dry pretty quickly. So you wanna work kind of fast. And this is a larger transfer, so um, you do kind of want to work a little bit quickly. And once you apply pressure, it does make the coat like a thinner coat on there, and that's kind of what you're looking for. The chalk paste that we use is or, uh, made with organic pigments, and sometimes you will see some discoloration. It's just the different pigments coming through. Like in my elephant gray, I can see a little bit of a pigment in here. And what you do is you can just um, like wet your finger and just blend it in a little bit, and that will take that any discoloration that you may have happen right out. Not to worry. This is 
just get this corner over here and we are done that fast. That is all there is to it. Just going over one more time to get all that excess chalk off. So I can see that I definitely have a good amount. See how when I just applied pressure and I took all that extra chalk paste right off. Oop. And it is drying pretty quick because my air conditioning is blowing full blast right now. Hopefully it didn't dry on me. Let's take a peek just to make sure it wasn't starting to dry. Perfect. And that is the detailing in the transfer. It is supposed to look like that. Remembering to just apply even pressure when you're removing the transfer so that we're not stretching it out. Amazing! Look how great that came out. So I'm just gonna put my transfer in water real quick because I do wanna use it again because I'm gonna do another anchor on the other side. That was just my marker there so I knew how I wanted to kinda leave space for the, the next anchor. In the meanwhile, I'm just gonna clean off the edges here of my elephant gray a little bit as best I can close that up so that that doesn't dry and then I'm going to actually bring in my bucket of water that I have to the side so that I can show you real quick how to clean your paste. So I'm going to move this for a second. Not clean your paste, I'm going to show you how to clean your transfer is what I meant to say. So we have our little bucket of water off here and I actually threw my squeegees in here too which is fine because we reuse those as well. And grab a towel so that we can place our towel here. Just trying to get some of the excess chalk paste off of here. Because like I said, I do want to do a second anchor on here, so I want to make sure that I'm leaving this to dry. And then I'll bring my chalk, uh, my chalkboard back over and we'll give that a quick blow dry so that that chalk paste is nice and dry when we're going to go ahead and put our second anchor on the board. Okay, I'm going to start by placing the transfer with the sticky side up. And right now it's not sticky. But once I clean it, First, I usually just use a paper towel just to get all that excess water off of it. And that's okay, it picked up a little bit of the um, black from the chalkboard. That's not a big deal. I'm just gonna remove some of this gray chalk paste from the front. Normally, the last step that I would do is a Clorox wipe, but I'm gonna use this transfer again and just use a different color. So I'm not gonna totally do the complete cleaning that I would do had I been finished with this transfer. I'm just trying to get it dried so that I can go ahead and apply the second anchor to my board. Okay. So let me let that dry for a second. That's all there is to cleaning it. And the last step would be, like I said, just taking a disinfectant wipe. And then that brings the stickiness fully back. And then you would just take your carrier sheet with back on it and then just lay that down on the sticky side. And there you have it. But I'm gonna be using this again. So let me pull this off to the side and bring my chalkboard back. Let that dry for a second. Pull that back. And here we are with our chalkboard again. Um, you can kind of see that it's starting to dry a bit, but I am gonna take a touch of heat to it just to get this nice and fully dried up.
is completely dry and I can run my hands over it. You see I had a little boo-boo right here where I have a little bit of chalk paste right there. So all that I can need to do is I have a Q-tip here, just putting it in a little bit of water. So I'm just going to take my Q-tip with water and just clean that right up. That is all you need to do to remove chalk paste. A little bit of water and that will take care of that any little boo-boos that you have. Easy peasy. Okay, let's check to see if our transfer is dry. Feels pretty good. I think we should be okay to go ahead and try to do our second anchor over here. And hopefully I measured this okay and then we can get this guy in here. Let's see. Let us see. Press it a little bit just to get it in. I don't mind if the if the anchor here crisscrosses at the bottom. That doesn't bother me. These guys are pretty close. That looks pretty good. Let's see. And like I said, I am putting this transfer on top of the other one, so that's why I wanted to make sure that this was nice and dry before I put that down. pretty good. I think we're pretty close to matching. And I like how these are kind of overlapping each other here. That's kind of cool. Okay, so I'm just going to tuck this down here. And I think we have it. I think it matched pretty good even without measuring, I hope. I think we look pretty similar on both sides. And on that, oh, I do feel a big old bubble right there. Let me lift that back up. Definitely feel a bubble there. Pull that back. Make sure we get that bubble out of there because what happens is if there is a bubble in your silk screen area, you will see that when you're taking your transfer off and you've got chalk paste on there. You will definitely see it. better to take the extra time just to make sure you're not feeling that when you're putting your transfer down. And because I am going off the board a little bit, it makes it just a little bit more difficult just to make sure that everything feels nice and smooth. I think we almost have it. And that's only because I'm half on and half off of the board a little bit in certain spots. That's probably why it's a little bit more, a little more difficult. And there's another bubble. Let me just try this one more time here. Just want to make sure I got it perfect. We are good. Just make sure. Oh, nope, we are not. I feel one there. Okay. Oh, there's a big one there. Okay. Yeah. Like I said, it is definitely because I'm half on and half off of the board. That is for sure. to go. So here we have the lovely Nantucket. So we are going to do the same thing that we did with the other side. Grab a squeegee. Actually this is a nice big squeegee. So I'm going to get my stirrer out of the way here. And these, this is the small squeegee. 
And these fit perfectly inside of our three ounce jars now, so this is great. This is gonna make quick work of this anchor. See how fast that is? Just pulling that right down. How quick that was. Applying a little pressure with my second go over. Just trying to get into the corner over here. After all that, I think I may have missed one. Almost done that fast, the second anchor. That's pretty cool. little corner right here and we are done all right getting the excess off of my squeegee and let's see I think I missed a bubble out here let's see what happened well, I don't see it so far so good let's see Keep going. Hey, that came out pretty good. I like it. I like it. I like it. All right. So again, now I'm putting the anchor back into the water. This time we are going to clean that nice and thoroughly. I'm going to close up my chalk paste because I'm going to take a dryer to this again real quick to dry up that beautiful Nantucket color over here. Take the words from the We Belong Together transfer. Because the anchors are together, I thought, why not put We Belong Together on it? So, I have some of the words cut out of here already. So there's together. And I just have to see if we can fit this. So we have we, we, and then here's belong. So we'll just cut this one out. Now I have to see if I can fit it. Let's see if this will work. I'm scared to do it over it because I really like how the two anchors came out together. So I was kind of hoping that I could fit it in it between the anchors, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. And it makes me nervous to do it over top of them, but that may be what we have to do. Um, let me label these before I go any further. Don't want to forget to do that. So, I think I... No, I didn't use this one yet. We... Belong and then together. Okay, 
So we have those labeled. I'm gonna let that dry for a second while we try to figure out how we're gonna do this. Let's see. Whew. Okay. How do we wanna do this? I kinda like that in the middle there. That was what I was originally thinking, right smack in the middle there. guess this is going to have to kind of go over it like so. I think I'm going to have to do it like that because I really like the together in the middle, like right where these two are kind of joining. So that I'm definitely sold on for sure. It's just I'm not sure if I should just leave it like that. And then... Oops, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Maybe I'll just start there, hold these off to the side and start here. But now what color? Should I just do white? Hmm, decisions, decisions. It looks like I need a little light in here. Let me see if, this, if that's gonna help or if that's gonna, let me see, if that's gonna blind everybody. I just turned the light on, I wanna see if that's gonna, no, that's really not good. That makes it worse. Okay. Um, I think I'm just going to try putting together in white, I think. Let's put that off to the side. I'm going to fuzz this real quick. I kind of feel like this needs a bold color in the center. Almost. Like red. But I feel like I do too much of red. Gray and Nantucket. I do a lot of red, white, and blues lately. So maybe I need to steer away from that. Maybe I need to go to a color that I don't do a lot of. The good news is this isn't touching anything, so... I'm not happy with the color. I can always wash it off because yes, I'm definitely not touching anything. So that's the good news. If I don't like it, I can erase it. So I'm thinking, let's see. If we did red or if we did white, I definitely think, I actually think I like the red. I'm going with the red. I'm gonna do the red. I always do the red. But you gotta stick with what you like. And I like the red. Okay, so we're just gonna give our, our red a quick stir. And grab a squeegee. And this will be very quick again, just covering the silk screen area. I put a lot of chalk paste on that time. I did not need all that. Oh, now I don't have enough. Okay. Making sure that we're getting all of our lines out of there so that comes out nicely when we're pulling the transfer off. Let's see, I think I'm definitely gonna like it with the red on here. Oop, I'm gonna grab from here. Oh yeah. Oh yes, it needed the red. It needed the red for sure. Now. I think I'm just gonna keep it like that instead of the we belong. I think I'm just gonna leave it together like that. I really like that. I think that's good like that. I'm happy with that. But now, can we add some cute little seashells, some starfish. 
let's see. Let me get my scissors. So let's cut some of these little cute guys out and see. Maybe we put some of these around. Or do we leave it? Because I always go very plain and simple. And I actually like it just the way it is. But let me see. I'm always one for the simple, understated pieces. That's kind of what I go for. But let's just take a look. Let's experiment and see. Sometimes I gotta come out of my shell. Ah, come out of my shell. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, let's see. Actually, I'm looking at them and I'm like, do I wanna put them around or do I wanna leave it? I'm going to leave it. And I'm actually, I'm going to bring this down a little bit. I'm going to put the light on. Because you can't really see the together, but now with the light on, maybe you can. I'm going to bring this up a little bit. Can you guys see that? You like the red with it? I think I like the red with it. I think I'm going to keep it just like that. I like the way that came out. All right, I think I'm gonna leave it just like that. I, I'm perfectly fine with simple and understated. I really like it. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this quick video tonight with our two anchors and together. And I wanna post the link to the online store if you are interested in purchasing these adorable anchors and the um, we belong together transfer set that has all these amazing different words so you can create your own masterpieces with different words um, uh, so many different ideas that you can do here's another one that I did uh, using the same words I am yours you are mine every day so there's a whole lot of different sen uh, sayings that you can make with just that one transfer set. It's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, so thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great night. Bye.